This is Movement Teacher Training, week two for me, a drive two hours south to Brisbane from the Sunshine Coast to meet my teacher, Jackson Lennon, at his facility, Movement 4. We started off today with handstands, really focusing on the line and the basics. Here he's telling me to push tall, push my chest through further, squeeze my bum, and pull my legs a little bit further over towards my head to straighten up my line. To demonstrate just how effective handstand coaching can be, this is my handstand the day before I went to meet with Jackson to get some coaching on my line. And this next photo will demonstrate 24 hours later just how much straighter I can get with some good cues. Notice where my ears are in each photo and how much straighter I am. This is four years ago compared to now. That's how far I've come, dabbling on my own and now with some coaching, getting much straighter. As always, plenty of action in the facility, some other students having a good time. That was a sweet basket and it also earned him lunch privileges, Jackson, Misses this shot and owes everybody bagels. Yeah, baby. After that, it was the first group class for the day. I observed as Jackson gave everybody instructions for the workout ahead. It was a great vibe and I got to take part in that class. After which, Jackson bought us bagels, which were sensational. In the evening, it was over to Elements Yoga Studio in Woolloongabba, East Brisbane for a locomotion class. I got to participate in that, which was fantastic once again. And then the two hour drive home to get some rest before work the next day. Okay, so this is actually where I spend most of my time. Uh, I am a solicitor or a lawyer, for those of you that don't know. Um, so here I am at work at my desk, uh, but I wanted to recap how things went in week two of my movement master course training with my teacher, my movement teacher, Jackson Lanan. Down in Brisbane, um, it was a great session on Tuesday, a full day once again, and so good to be in a non-office environment for me and to be in gym facilities. So. His gym has a real industrial vibe to it, which is really cool. But then in the evening, uh, we went to Elements Yoga Studio where he takes a movement class there. And we did some locomotion there, which has a very soft uh, yoga feel. Um, so it's just a great blend to be in two different environments um, to do you know, ring work and strength work um, and mobility work in the industrial uh facility which has uh, lots of bars for hanging and um, then go over to the yoga studio which is uh, a lot softer with nice timber floors and it smells good like uh, essential oils but what I really liked about the yoga studio is they have these ladders built into the roof so they really encourage the yogis to hang which is something missing from their straight 
yoga practice. So really awesome to see some innovations there happening. And I guess it made me realize, I think the future for these facilities is a real fusion um, of these cultures so that there is hanging, there is locomotion floor stuff, there is rings, there is bars. Um, having it all in one place would be the dream really. So uh, I learned loads. Uh, we worked on the basics for teaching people handstands. I got a lot of corrections for my own line. My back muscles are very sore today. Uh, we had some corporate groups come through and they did a lot of neck circles. A lot of them complain of headaches from being like me, like this all day. Um, and a lot of hanging for them and also some squatting. So um, office people like me that sit in these chairs all day, they need to hang more, they need to squat more, they need to take care of their necks. So I guess I'm learning that a lot of the teaching is focusing on the absolute basics because that's where people get the most benefit. So another great day of learning. That's my summary and recap. Thanks for following along and I hope to share more of this process as it unfolds. Um, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See ya.